This is Jonas from VHGLWiz.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the for loop in VHGL. In the last tutorial, we learned how to create a simple loop using the loop statement, and we also learned how to terminate it using the exit statement. But what if we wanted it to iterate a fixed number of times? For this, we can use the for loop. I will copy this into a new editor, and we will save it as a new file. Let's call it t04 for testbench04 underscore for loop tb, which stands for testbench.vht, and click save. We also have to change the entity and architecture names to match the base name of the new file that we created. Let's just get rid of everything inside of the process so that we can type in our new code here. The start of my for loop is going to be a line that says for i in 1 to 10 loop. What this means is that the for loop is going to iterate once for every number in the range 1 to 10, including 1 and 10. So this for loop is going to iterate 10 times. And the number of the iteration is going to be available as the constant named i. We could have chosen any name for this constant, but I chose i for integer. To close off the loop, I'm simply going to write end loop semicolon. Now let's put some juicy report statement inside of the loop. How about we print out the value of the constant i? To print out an object in which gel, it first has to be converted into a string. And the i object here is of type integer. We can convert an integer to a string by using this thing that looks like a function call. Integer, single quotation mark, image. And inside of the parentheses, we put the name of the object, which is i. This single quotation mark image thing is what's called an attribute. But that's kind of advanced VHDL stuff. Just remember that this is how you convert an integer to a string. The ampersand is used here to join the two strings together. Now this code is complete, so let's fire up ModelSim and add this file to our project. And then compile it by selecting the file in the project window and press the compile button. But something went wrong, don't worry, it's never right on the first try. Seems like we forgot the wait statement, because as we remember, we always have to have a wait statement within our process. We try again, and much better, it compiled with no errors. I'm going to start a simulation and ModelSim will pop into simulation mode. Now we just have to press the run button to get this simulation going. And what we have here, the program printed out the value of i from 1 to 10. The for loop iterated 10 times before the program hit the wait statement and paused forever. That's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching and check vhdlwist.com for more tutorials and blog posts.